Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. In this video, I'm inviting you to join me to take a watch and reflect after that upon one video that has been making rounds on the internet recently. Uh, this video, probably you might have seen it already because I have just seen it two days ago and today as well. So uh, the inspiration came for me to share with you uh, about this video. It's about this Dutch footballer, uh, Davy van den Berg, if that is the name, I hope I have got it right. Uh, Davy van, Davy van den Berg, Davy van den Berg, yeah. Uh, who has recently converted to Islam and he was videotaped reciting one of the chapters of the Quran beautifully. Not only beautifully, but perfectly. Uh, let's take a watch. When Naziati or Pong, when Nashi or Portinash Tong was Sabi Hati Sabaha, Fasabi Porti Sabiro, Felmuda Birati Emra, Yomator Jufu Rodifa, Tets Baru Herodifa, Kulubu Yoma Idiwajifa. أبصارها خاشئة يقولون إن لا مردودون في الحافرة. ما شاء الله تبارك الله. We can only pray that Allah سبحانه وتعالى grants him steadfast, steadfast upon Islam and also steadfast upon upholding the Quran, learning it, reading it, and memorizing it as well. Now. Upon seeing the video, watching the video, internalizing, thinking a little bit about the video, you see, you see that uh, Devi is a young man. He is reported to be 22 years old. He was born in 2000, the year 2000. That means he's 22 years young. A recently uh, converted Muslim or converted into Islam, and he, can, he has made the time and set the determination and worked hard to learn the Quran and is able to read the Quran so fluently is something praiseworthy. It's something, uh, uh, it's, not, it's not only about the Quran being a, a, a divine book or the Quran being a miracle, a Quran, no, that, that is given. With situations like this, with examples like this, or without the Quran is already a miracle. The Quran is a book of Allah. So that is not a point of discussion. 22, 22 years ago, some of us have been in, have been watching football. I'm not talking about playing football or whatnot. 22 years ago until now, some of us has been watching football. They know the ins and outs of football. That was when this young man was born. 22 years later, he has just converted into Islam and is able to read the Quran the way you, you and I have just watched him and listened to him reading close to perfection. In fact, his recitation is already perfect. 98% of his recitation is perfect. 22 years ago, some of us have been watching football and football has been part of our life. That was when this young man was born and today he's reading the Quran like this. 22 years until now, some of us are not able to read Surah Al-Fatiha straight without mistakes. Of course, seeing him reading Surah Al-Nazi'at by heart uh, already gives the impression that he must have already mastered Surah Al-Fatiha and the, the short surahs and he's on his way memorizing Juz Amma and also the other parts of the Quran as well. A Muslim who is older than Devi and has been into football by watching, by spending his time, by wasting his time, by spending sleepless nights watching all the leaks out there and is unable to read Surah Al-Fatiha properly, let alone memorizing some surahs in the Quran. Uh, a Muslim of that nature should, should be ashamed of himself. Uh, when I say he should be ashamed of himself, it's not meant to be offensive, but it's meant to, to, to trigger that sense of belonging to the Quran and to Islam. 
<laughs> Upon watching the video, different people notice different things. Some notice how beautifully he is reading the Quran, although he is a new, a new Muslim, a just newly converted to, into Islam, uh, which is uh, which I agree. But as a student of Quran, I do not look at it from how beautiful his voice is by reading the Quran, because beautiful voice does not necessarily mean uh, perfecting or perfection of the reading. Uh, a person can have a very beautiful sound voice in reading the Quran, but all his readings may be flawed or full of mistakes. However, what I see as a student of the Quran, I see perfection in his reading, although he is just a new Muslim. 98% of his, of his reading and articulation are perfect. I'm not saying it's good, perfect. Uh, uh, and this is just new Muslim who probably he does not know Arabic yet and uh, he has learned to read and perfect it in a short period of time. Upon watching the video, there are a few lessons a Muslim can learn. One, I feel sorry for a born Muslim who could be 22 years old as uh, Devi or even older and has formed his lifestyle or his lifestyle has revolved around football and entertainment and yet he cannot read Surah Al-Fatiha straight without mistake, let alone uh, other surahs without mistakes or memorizing them like Devi has done. Number two, if you pay attention, you will see that Devi was reading from his memory by heart. He has memorized Surah to an naziat or at least until where the video has shown him read, he has memorized them and read them with perfection. That level of perfection, one can only reach it upon memorizing it. One can read it from the Quran, from the book, but to reach to that perfection, memorization is required. Therefore, for anyone who is serious about his Quran, you may not be able to memorize the entire Quran. It is fine. But there must be some verses or uh, chapters or surahs in the Quran that you are confident and comfortable in reproducing them by heart. And by the way, uh, this is what it means for a person to be a companion of the Quran because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all the companions when the Quran was revealed they will memorize it and the one who memorizes more is always given priority above all other companions. Lesson number three Devi is only 22 years old. Uh, for any Muslim or any born Muslim who has been uh, into soccer entertainment, football, and all those things for more than 22 years, they see their role models in footballers, in uh, football stars. Now, this is one of your role models. He has embraced Islam. You are already Muslim, so there's nothing you need to do over there. He has started mastering the Quran. Will you follow him? He has started mastering the Quran. Will you follow him? Lesson number four. This video is not about is football halal or haram. <laughs> this video is about a, a football star who has converted into Islam and is changing his, his, his lifestyle from being revolving around football li a lifestyle into Quran, Quran lifestyle. Ya uh, akhi, on the day of resurrection, uh, Devi will come with some deeds that evolve around football and entertainment. Most of this will be coated with sins. Most of this will be sinful. On the other hand, he will also have his Quran with him. And we hope that the Quran, the rewards of the Quran will outsmart, all right, will outsmart and outgrow the amount of sins that he could have accumulated. And by now, Allah has already uh, 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 eradicated all for them because anyone who converts into Islam starts with a new page. So let's assume he will continue to play football and he will come to Akhira with some football stuff, most of which will be sinful. And he will also have his Quran with him, basing on 
what we have seen him reading. He will come with football and Quran. And a born Muslim who has revolved his life, whole life about, around football and soccer and entertainment, you are going to be coming with football with you. Have we achieved or we have lost? Have we emerged victorious or are we going to, to emerge losers? And the choice is ours. There are some misconceptions that need to be highlighted when we talk about football. This is because, unfortunately, sadly, football has emerged in the life of many as a religion. So much so that it cannot be touched, uh, it cannot be discussed, it's not point of discussion. What makes things worse is that when you talk about it, someone will come and tell you, are you more knowledgeable than so-so and so ustad, than so-so and so scholar, all of do, those who do watch. Uh, football and, and talk about football and tweet about football, who are you? Islam is not about who is doing or who is not doing. Islam is about uh, what is right <laughs> and what is and what is wrong. Now, misconception number one, there is a difference between learning to play football, soccer or any type of sports for that matter in order to be fit and be productive Muslim. That is on one hand and also uh, uh, revolving one's lifestyle all around football and entertainment. These are two different things. Someone who plays soccer, someone who plays football, someone who, who, who plays any form of sports, while he observes the adab of aura, the adab of interaction, and does not involve in any form of haram, that is encouraged. <laughs> that's, that's encouraged. A Muslim must, must be fit. A Muslim must be fit, must be healthy. Uh, and on the other hand, someone who may not be fit at all, who may not be even exercising at all, but his, all his, his discussions, his thoughts, his meetings, uh, his readings, his arguments, his debates, his, his interactions are all about football, are all about, it's all about entertainment. This is, this is, this is, this is scary. And something needs to be done about that. Misconception number two, there is a difference between uh, playing football or for that matter any form of sport in order to remain fit, healthy and productive Muslim and making one's whole livelihood or earning one's income uh, on football and entertainment. These are two different things. Uh, one will say if I play football I do, I do, I do, I do not commit any haram but there are so many haram that are attached to football and, and entertainment that you cannot control. And you will have to respond to that when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Misconception number three, there's a difference between playing football, uh, uh, mastering any form of, of sports uh, in order to remain fit and be a productive Muslim and be a, a healthy Muslim and be a, a fit Muslim and forming one's world view, one's world view around football and entertainment. We were not created and brought into this life for entertainment. Yes, the world around us is all about entertainment. However, we were not brought here for that. We were brought here for a noble purpose which the Muslim should be more aware about. All right, that is all I was inspired to to, to think about, to, to, to share and discuss and chit chat with you about in this video pertaining to our new Muslim brother, uh, Davy Van Denberg, who is a well-known footballer to some of you. Honestly, I didn't know him because <laughs> I'm not into all this. But then again, we are, uh, 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 he, he has set an example that will leave myself and all of us without excuse when we, when we come to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not having a fair share of Qur'an in our hearts. Mind you, the Qur'an is in the hearts, not in the books. Until the next, I leave you in Allah's protection. Wassalamu alaikum. Ataituka ya khaliqi bakiya Wa dam'u al-asa kulla heenin yazeed فقد قلت في الآي لا تقنطوا 
وإن تعف عني فذا يوم عيد وإن تعف عني فذا يوم عيد